14 years ago, I sat across the table from two male partners of a boutique employment law firm. I was applying for my first role in a law firm as a graduate lawyer, but for two years prior, I'd been a workplace relations advisor. And when they asked me what my salary expectations were, I told them what I was earning. I want to say it was $60,000 at the time. And they told me that to enter as a graduate lawyer, I'd need to take a pay cut. And I took them at their word. Six months later, I learned that my male peer, who was hired at the same time, but with less experience than me, was earning $10,000 a year more than I was. I was infuriated. I marched into the HR manager's offices. I called out the sex discrimination and I asked them to fix the pay issue. And it was fixed. But unfortunately, my illusion of equality wasn't. It was shattered. See, I'd been raised to believe that I wasn't equal. And my first job in law taught me that I wasn't. I've gone on to enjoy the practice of employment law. I've worked in it for all of my career. I love that at its heart is about a relationship between two people, an important one, but almost always more important for the employee who relies on that wage to put a roof over their head and food on the dinner table. Unfortunately, though, when things go wrong at work, most employees can't afford to access employment law services in this country. It's just the way it goes. In 2016, I was off on my second period of parental leave. I'd made it to partner in an employment law practice, but I decided that returning to a traditional legal practice wasn't going to suit my needs as a young mum with two babies at home. And so I decided to look at my options. I interviewed for top tier firms, I interviewed for in-house positions, but I applied for many, many more. And the gatekeepers, the recruiters, refused to put me forward for them because of the flexibilities that I needed as a young mum. So I decided to call BS. In 2017, I launched Resolution 123. Resolution 123 provides quick, simple, and affordable employment law advice for employees. We've helped so many average Australians right wrongs at work, but especially we've helped so many women rectify issues of sex discrimination or sexual harassment at work. I'm so proud of the work that we have done, and I'm really proud of the fact that we've been able to create six fully flexible, really meaningful jobs for other women, including young mums like myself. But lately I've been feeling like it's not enough. Maybe it's been the sexual harassment allegations that have rocked Parliament House. Maybe it's been the federal government's poor response to the Respect at Work report. Or maybe it's been the fact that we're meant to celebrate the fact that women have finally reached a majority in the profession. And yet the latest pay equity guidelines tell us that professional services, our industry, has the largest gender pay gap of over 25%. The thing is, we don't need more reports or more investigations. We need action and we need organisation. And so this is my call to arms. If you're not already a member of the Women Lawyers Association, please join. If your law firm is not a signatory to the Advancement of Women Charter of the Law Society, ask them why not. If your law firm doesn't have a sexual harassment or discrimination policy, Tell them that the Law Society has a model policy that they can adopt for free. We know what we need to fix these problems. We need more women in senior leadership positions. We need equal representation at the decision-making levels in partnership positions. If your firm briefs barristers, ask them whether or not they've signed up to the equitable briefing policy and ask them to brief a female barrister. The steps are easy to adopt and they're available to everybody. So please take action. Take your seat at the table. Thank you to the Women Lawyers Association for this award. I am so grateful and humbled that other women in the profession think that I'm making a difference. Thank you for choosing me to be the change champion for 2021.